Hey everyone, I just got back from an awesome trip to BC and of course while I was there I went thrift shopping with my friend Cheryl and I just wanted to show you what we found. It's always nice to go shopping somewhere else outside of Calgary, <clears throat> see what other places have. So let's take a peek. It just wrapped all this but I wanted to show you. So here we go. Alright, I found these super cute lamps. Look at milk glass. It has a pattern texture on it. Seven dollars and fifty cents for this. So this is pretty. There's actually two of them. So that is a huge win. The matching little lamps would look so cute on a console. Um, <clears throat> oh, and then I also got these lamps. There's this lamp. Also, same place. Someone just had a. Milk jar or milk glass frenzy. I love milk glass. This one is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, Five dollars for this lamp. Five dollars. Uh, I'm gonna get a new shade for it because, well, this one is horrendous. Um, but I absolutely love the actual lamp and it works. I tested it. So, one of those as well, and two of the other ones. Um, I think I showed you these ones before. These were I just picked up right before I left, actually, in Calgary. But um, I just really like these kind of antique faux oil lamp um, candle holders. So this one ended up being $3 or something like that. So that one's awesome. A little apple for staging. This was $0.99, cents, $1.00. Uh, those are good to just put on books and stuff. Let's see. Oh. <clears throat> Yay! So this one was only three bucks. Yes. And these are really good just to throw on a uh, couch or on the on a bed, a little girl's room, find and finish off her bed, um, on a chair. Like, they're really just versatile. And I like the pink. Uh, this one I got for staging, not resale, $3.50. Um, but this is good if clients don't have towel racks in their bathrooms, then we can put this between um, a double sink and put some really pretty towels on it. So I'm going to use that. Okay. <laughs> Heavy bin. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got... Two picture frames, these are really good just for bathroom. Um, one of them and two of them. So those can go above a toilet or something. That'll be good for staging. That one has to get fixed. Oh yeah, but these ones were, shoot, there's no, no tag on them. I think they were like $5. And then the one that was broken was $3. Um, that I just have to glue. So, these I got at the dollar store. And uh, these I got at the dollar store. Not as exciting. Oh, and I got this from Ikea. It's from Ikea, but I got it at a thrift store, obviously. Two bucks. Uh, again, I just love kind of that throwback style antique, um, even when they're not antique. So, two bucks. I can put a cool candle in there. That'll look good on a coffee table or a mantle or even a, um, what's the word? Dresser. <laughs> a dresser. Let's see what else. Mm. So these, 50 cents. So um, it's like, a, it's actually a candle holder, but when I was looking at it, it was upside down and I like it better that way. And so I think it'll be kind of cool. You can put a tea light in the top top then and sit it like this uh, and then it's more sculptural as opposed to sort of your inside. This is obviously safer for real candles so I'll probably put a battery operated one um, but yeah I thought that was kind of nice for 50 cents. Good good grab. Oh little owls. I love owls. I don't know I just pick them up everywhere I go. Um, they're not even my favorite animal but a dollar each. And the third one was missing, so apparently we can speak evil. <gasps> see no see no evil, hear no evil, speak evil. 
So I got those ones, one buck each. It's the hardest thing, honestly, our mission on this trip was to find figurines, sculptures. I had a tough go. Could not find very many. Um, but I'll put home senses for if I need to. I just really try to prefer going to finding stuff thrifting. And oh, this little jar. I just really liked the shape of it. So cute. I can put some little cotton pads or something in there. brass candle holder one dollar for this I also pick up brass wherever I can <clears throat> for something else could it be this one it's like Christmas after I've wrapped it all again I have to wrap it all to bring it downstairs and categorize it catalog it <clears throat> um, two but two dollars and fifty cents for this little one a little overpriced but I also just thought it could kind of be more sculptural so I thought that was pretty I can set that on a set of books or something um, what else did I get oh yeah I really like this there's two of these actually um, again little candle holders this was 75 cents so I just think that's so cute put a little put a tea light or a, not a tea light a tapered candle so I got some at the dollar store so yeah that'll be really nice okay. oh yeah this is just the other I had two of these that one Just a really pretty glass plate bowl, $1.50, so that'll be useful. Uh, oh yeah, so I actually found a few really nice glass pieces like that. This was $1.50. It's hard to tell um, in this camera, but this is actually blue glass, so I thought, oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, woo, thrifting is a dangerous sport. Uh, dollar fifty for and there's two of those so I like those three bucks just nice little candy dishes I probably won't put candy in them but I just like the blue glass <clears throat> yeah nice dollar fifty just some color candle glass I get a lot of glass that's why I'm trying to find little sculptures but it's easier to find glass let me tell you oh this was kind of a neat a dollar fifty just pretty just a unique color um, get it cleaned up a little bit and I think that'll be nice for a vignette or staging That's kind of what I like about this is I can use some of the stuff for my own clients or I can put them into vignettes so we usually see what we can use for vignettes that goes nicely together first and then I'll Pull what I can for staging. Another milk jar <clears throat> vase, 50 cents. Oh yeah, little doggies, dollar fifty for this buddy. There's two of them. I don't know where the other guy is right now, but just a little silver dog. So again, sculptures, good thing to have. Hard to find. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at this this was yeah this one was five dollars so ooh, ooh, it was a little much for what I usually go for but I just couldn't pass it up look at that oh, so nice so splurged on that one a little bit um, oh another pretty little base or container here <clears throat> I wrapped very well apparently so again I just really loved the pattern and texture on this so that one would be nice it can go in a bar card it could go oh this one's three dollars uh, it can go in a bathroom really it can go anywhere doggy number two maybe I'll name them maybe I'll do a, a naming contest for my doggy sculptures <laughs> name that dog 
stay tuned on Instagram for that. Uh, another just pretty container. Hmm. A little perfume flavor left in that one. I have to rinse that out. But anyway, that one's cute. This one was $1.50 as well. Oh, now everything smells like grandma's. <laughs> Another one of those. Are they the exact same? Yes. Two of those. Cool. What is this? Heavy. Oh, right. Uh, four bucks for this. It's really heavy, actually. It's for, I think, you put a candle in there, even though that like, goes all the way in. But I don't want it on that, so I'd probably use it a bit higher up on a bookcase just for some texture and, again, sculptural element. Um, we don't see the hole on the top, which I'm not a big fan of. This again, ooh, these were five dollars. So it splurged a bit, but pretty. So there's two of these, and again, they are five dollars each, which is like not ideal. Um, I think they go this way. Candle holder. Do they? Mm. No. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. I actually kind of like them this way, so I would do it that way, but it probably goes this way. I just think that looks older. So they're going to be like this for me. Uh, $5 each, but my friend actually has these that I went sh shopping with, and she has like a little plant with a string of pearls over it and in her bathroom and I fell in love with that idea so I bought both and then there was also a smaller one for three dollars so I wish that they were three different sizes but they are not two of the same height oh and more plates again so pretty two dollars and fifty cents um, I saw this same plate, actually it was a little different, the one I saw was pearlescent, which I have one of those, for $20 in a kind of vintage already curated shop like mine. Um, and then I found this one like at the next thrift store I went to for $2.50, so even though this one's not pearlescent, um, it's still really pretty. So, that. And then $3.50 for this one, just a bit bigger. And this is the one actually that I have the same one, but pearlescent, that size. So, good to know that I can flip those if I wanted to for 20 bucks. Ah, an apple, yay! See, sculptural. Clearly, I like apples and owls. <laughs> Maybe those will be my signatures for the stores or for houses. Uh, this one was $4.50. I just, it's like, ooh, Inception, look, you can see what's behind my camera. <laughs> um, $4.50, that was a good find. And this is part of something else. For this. Put a new candle in there, this was $1.70. Oh yeah, this thing needs to get fixed or flipped. So I also thought it could go this way, even though the candle's in there. It's glued in right now. And then the, this is, I like this better. <laughs> anyway, $1.75 for that. Put a ca new candle in there. Um, this pretty bowl, more modern, so $3. Uh, I don't usually get crystal, but I just kind of thought this pattern was a little bit more modern. Uh, and I think it'll look nice on an entryway table. And I feel like I'm missing a piece here because I've been holding on to something. But uh, oh, there's the other one of those. Oh no, maybe this didn't have a bottom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then this, one dollar, so I can put a little flower in there, or really anything, or just put it on top of a book. So that'll be pretty. That's it. Look at this disaster that I've created. Here's all my stuff. And then here's all the paper. <laughs> it's the behind the scenes of my show and tells. 
Uh, anyway, that is it for the BC that was uh, Abbotsford and Chilliwack thrift stores. And I think we got some good stuff. So I'm going to go get a catalog and you can stay tuned and see it on the store.